in the last previous two three slides we just showed that the kinetic energy is what it is a form of means how much maximum work a object can do so indirectly we can say uh, we can say that the change of kinetic energy is equal to the total work done on an object okay so that we are going to prove also so suppose an object is moving so i am first writing it in the form of expression here so delta k the change of kinetic energy is equal to work done by all forces okay so change of kinetic energy is equal to work done by all forces so particle of mass m is moving with initial velocity u suppose particle is moving like this now a force is applied on this okay a force is applied so it will produce some acceleration it will give some displacement it will produce some acceleration and finally after traveling distance s it is having velocity v so what expression we can write the particle was having initial velocity u the force f is applied constant force f is applied particle is displaced through s and final velocity it acquires is v so what we can write is work done by net force that will be how much f into s Oh, there is only one force in this case, so F into S is the net force. Uh, F into S is the net work done. Okay, so F is M A, so M A S work done is M A S. Okay, now we know that from this expression, V square minus U square equal to two S. So can we write A S as V square minus U square by two S? Okay, so this much we can write. Now S S cancelled. So we are having v square minus u square by two. Now this is what this is final kinetic energy, and the second one is initial kinetic energy. So this is the thing we are getting: the work done by all forces equal to kinetic energy final minus kinetic energy initial. Okay. So this is the work energy theorem: that total work by all forces. So in this case, we have shown just one force, but it is true for uh, all kind of force. Means any number of forces are acting. All of them, if you consider all of them together, this relation is going to hold. Okay, so these are the kinetic energy, final and initial, and this is the change of kinetic energy. Okay, now we will see the work energy theorem for a variable force. So, for a variable force, consider one-dimensional motion of a body of mass m, which is acted upon by a variable force. If at any instance the speed of body is v, then at that instance we can write kinetic energy as half m v square. The rate of kinetic energy is how much? d k by d t. Okay, so in this way we can write. so we can write finally if you differentiate it since mass is constant we can write m dv by dt and dv by dt is a okay so we are getting m a and then dx by dt okay so see we have done differentiation simple differentiation the mass will come outside and v square differentiation with time so i am writing it one more step so m by 2 and differentiation of v square dt or we can write m by 2 differentiation of v square with respect to v chain rule okay so this thing i have done v square with differentiation that is going to give what 2v so that next step will be this much okay so we can write like this okay so next we can what we can do is we can cancel this two times dt and then we can write next expression dk equal to ma dx so that we are writing dk equal to ma dx so ma is this f, f m into a is what force we can write dk equal to f dx so f dx is work and dk is the change of kinetic energy if you integrate both sides if you integrate both sides this is what change of kinetic energy delta k and this is f dx is work so that was the expression for a work energy theorem okay so that is the thing we are proving here Okay, so these are the points. 
which we should know this theorem is not only applicable to a single particle but also for a system it is not applicable only for one particle if you have large number of particles then also this is applicable we will see examples second point is when it is applied to a system of two or more particle the change in kinetic energy of the system is equal to work done on the system by the external force as well as internal force means work done by all forces we have to consider not only external force so that we will see we will see some example okay so we will see some example for this also second second point also so third point is work energy theorem is also applicable to a system under action of variable force conservative or non conservative forces so conservative non conservative forces we will discuss uh, we will discuss today only so what is conservative they are actually the forces which have path independent uh, work done or path dependent work done so that is conservative or non conservative okay so for now you can just uh, see work energy theorem is also applicable to system under action of variable force means whatever kind of force you have variable force conservative force non conservative force any kind of force you have this theorem is applicable okay so we will see an example any doubt up to here sir wo dx kaise ho gaya sir kya dx kaise ho gaya kaun sa wo jo upar mein integral chuki thi bata raha hu ha yes sir ये सर डीएक्स डी वी को लिख दिया डीएक्स ये वी है ये वी को आप लिख सकते हैं ना डीएक्स बाई डी टी ओहो यस सर हम लोग हमेशा वर्क डन जब भी सर इनिशियल और फाइनल काइनेटिक एनर्जी दिया होगा तो वर्क डन सब करके ही करेंगे वर्क एनर्जी थियोरम पे आपको यूज कर सकते हैं हमेशा तो ऐसा कुछ फिक्स नहीं तो प्रॉब्लम पर डिपेंड करता है यस सर बट आप उसको यूज कर सकते हैं ये सब तो कर चुके हम लोग स्प्रिंग फोर्स का सूडो फोर्स का हम लोग करेंगे तो वर्क एनर्जी थ्योरम से हम लोग दो एग्जांपल करते हैं पहले ठीक है तो इसके बाद Okay, so in work energy theorem, we will take a problem and we will discuss how it is uh, work energy theorem is applicable. So suppose we consider an object of mass two kg, okay, and it is applied with different forces. Suppose it is applied with a force F one equal to sixteen newton, okay, and then it is also applied a another force F two equal to ten newton. so these are the two forces acting on this object and its initial velocity was given the initial velocity was suppose uh, 4 meter per second okay initial velocity was 4 meter per second and under the influence of this force the object is displaced the displacement is the object is displaced the displacement is equal to suppose 10 meter okay so verify the work energy theorem for this case okay so we are going to verify the work energy theorem for this condition so first we will see what is the acceleration so acceleration will be how much acceleration will be f1 minus f2 the net force divided by the mass of the object so f1 is 16 f2 is 10 divided by mass is how much 2 kg so we are getting p meter per second square that is the acceleration okay 
So if this is the acceleration, then we can find the final velocity. So final velocity v will be how much? U plus at. Or uh, time is not given, so better to write v square minus u square equal to two s. Okay, so we will write v square minus two square equal to two s. So how much will be v square? It will be u square plus two as. So u is uh, four square plus two a is three s is ten. So we are getting how much? Sixteen, and this is thirty into to sixty. Sixteen to sixteen, seventy six. So v square or v we are getting as root seventy six. Okay, so this much we are getting. Now we will verify the uh, uh, work theorem. So first we will find change of kinetic energy. So change of kinetic energy is kinetic energy final minus kinetic energy initial. So kinetic energy final is how much? Half m v square minus half m u square. Okay. So half. How much is m? M is two. How much is v? V is v square is seventy six. Half m is two. How much is u? U is u is given. Yeah, uh, u is four. Okay. So how much we are getting? Seventy six minus sixteen. Uh, that is we are getting sixty joule. So kinetic energy change is sixty joule. Okay. Now we will see work done by force one. So F one into S. F one is. 16 into s is 10, so that is coming 160 joule. So work done by second force F2. So F2 you can see that F2 is in a positive direction of displacement. F2 is in acting in backward direction. So we have to write minus F2s. Okay, why we are writing minus? Because F2 is acting a positive to displacement. That's why minus. So F2 is 10 into uh, 10. Y minus sign, so it is minus hundred. Okay, so net work done. So net work done is how much? One sixty minus hundred, so that is sixty joule. So you can see that net work done is coming sixty joule, and change of kinetic energy also sixty joule. So this is verified. Means the work done net is verified. Equal to the change of kinetic energy. Clear.